This is the plaintiff, Stephen Jones Jr. He says the terrible defendant took advantage of him and unloaded a piece of junk on him, and he wants to get back and get a refund. The defendant refuses to work with him, so he's suing him here and now for $5,000, the cost of the car, insurance, and the unhealthy stress he was caused. This is the defendant, Michael Lanais. He says he sent a tow truck 50 miles to the guy's house to take a look at it because the plaintiff complained the check engine light had come on when he got home. The plaintiff refused to release the truck to him so he could fix it for him. Now the guy's suing him? The plaintiff stopped payment on the truck. The finance company repossessed it, and here they are. He's accused of not checking the engine. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant unloaded a piece of junk on him in the form of a truck. Uh, but the defendant says the plaintiff is impossible to please. It's the case of I'm all trucked up. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Mr. Jones, hey, you bought a car from Quality Auto Sales Service? Yes. All right. And how much did you pay for the car? Um, the course was 6000 um, I put down 2000 Can I see your paperwork? Yes. It goes on. Thank you. So now you take the car with you. It's financed through a third party, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Are you the owner of that third party finance company? No, Your Honor. That's totally a separate company. Yes, from Your you. Honor. So typically speaking then, that would mean that that remainder of $4,467.37 came to you by check from the finance company. Yes, Your Honor. When the car was sold. Is that yes. correct? Yes, That's Your what Honor. happened? Yes. All right. Now you take the car, you take it with you, and what goes wrong? The truck was idle up too high, whatever. It was what? Idle up too high. It was idling too high? Yeah, yeah, Had you take, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm under the impression that you were, you still haven't picked up the truck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you? Yeah. No, I had came to get the truck. Okay, you turned it on yes. and you felt it was idling too high. It was high. too loud. Okay. It was too loud. Then they said, oh, um, we're going to put a brand new manifold in there. Okay? They said, well, you come back. Okay? So I comes back and it's, 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 it's sound good now at the time. I get on the highway, I might have got to exit 37 mm. and then check light came on, engine light came on, popped okay. on. I said, oh, like that. But the meantime, the truck is still running. It's running all right at the time. So now I get it home that Saturday. Now I got a doctor appointment Monday. Now. Oh my God, I got to go through your whole schedule. <laughs> all right. Tell me when okay. we get to the bad uh, yeah. part with the car. Okay, so I go to start the car, Monday. It wouldn't even start. It kept going, da -da 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 -da, like that. Yeah. So I called and I tell them, they said, well, can you volunteer to bring the truck to the tow place? How are you gonna you know, bring the truck to the tow place? It wouldn't I mean, start. The tow people, you know, can you um, get them to tow it to them? What tow people? The uh, triple A, triple and, A. Oh, okay. Triple A, can you okay. get triple A? Did you do that? Yeah, um, okay. I called them, I called them. They say they're gonna charge three hundred and something dollars. So tow. then you didn't it's have over. AAA to do that. Yeah, okay. I can get them. So to do who it. tows it over to his place? It sits there for where? Another, where is there? In my house. Okay. It sits in my driveway. For how long? For a week. Okay. So in the meantime, I called a, a mechanic. A mechanic. A different to mechanic. Him. Yeah. Okay. I had it towed to him. Okay. So you never brought the car back to him? No, I had it towed to, to the mechanic. Okay. To show me, that's me what's wrong with it. Okay. So now they fixed the, the, the wiring and the head behind the engine. They fixed that. And they said, oh, no, they have to be programmed now because all the wire was all screwed up. Okay. He does that. He said, well, I don't do the programming. So you have to take it to the Dodge place. So I asked him, I said, can you take it to the Dodge place for me? He took it who to did, the When Dodge. you say him, who are you referring that, um, to? That Eddie. same other Eddie. mechanic. Yeah, Eddie. Go yeah, on. I got the, yeah, Eddie. Okay. Eddie, the other mechanic. Okay, we're going to call him Eddie. Go okay, ahead. yep. So he takes it to the Dodge place. So they, they called me up. They said, well, we programmed it. To, but Mr. Jones, there's still something going on with the truck. We still have to drive with two feet. There's still something going on with the truck. How do you drive a truck with two feet? How do you have to drive a truck to keep with two it going, feet? Keep it going, keep it running. 
Because if you take yeah. your foot off the accelerator, it'll turn off? Yeah, turn off. Yeah, that's what he, that's right. what he said. And this is the Dodge place. Okay. So then Do they you have said, anything from the Dodge place? Oh, uh, I didn't get nothing from them because now they tell me, well, we're going to look and see what else is going with. They said, well, the manifold needs to be fixed. That's 1500 to have that done. Okay, and I according to you, they had just said that they had replaced mm -hmm. the manifold, Yeah, right? they just told me they just did it. That's what I'm saying. They just okay, said so did you get Dodge to put it all in writing, all no. the things you're saying? No, I didn't. Okay, so then what happens? I gave Dodge their telephone number. The defendant's telephone yes, number? Yes, I gave them their telephone number. And told number. them what? To call them and tell them that you got their truck. Meaning what? You abandoned the truck? Yo, I said that I wasn't going to pay no $1,500 to get it fixed. So that's what I Why told him. Why didn't you take the truck and bring it back to him like he had told you to? Because I couldn't get it to him. It was too far at the time. Well, why didn't you, Okay, did you call him and tell him your truck is at Dodge? Yes. Okay. I did tell him. Okay. So what happens with the truck when he called you and told you that it was at Dodge? Dodge called us, said that he left the truck there. We asked, is there a bill on the truck? A what on the a truck? A bill on the truck. Meaning uh, to Josh. So he ran. He had a uh, diagnostic bill there, and we pay, had to pay it to you get the truck You had to pay the diagnostic to take Dodge. the truck. But why are you even doing that? Why are you getting involved in that? Why don't you just... Because he abandoned the truck. Because he abandoned the yeah, truck. Yeah, but you're not the bank. That, that I, I, That's why I asked that question. I that third I, I need you to wait and listen to me. You what? I co-sign all the loans. I, I'm like guarantor on all the loans. You're kidding me. Yeah. You're a co-signer on every car you sell? I'm a guarantee. You're not yeah. on the title, though, right? No, I'm not on the title. Because that the would then obligate the you if they have accidents. Yeah. So you are a co-signer. I'm like a guarantee on all yeah, the yeah. loans. Yeah, yeah. That's what a co-signer is. Yeah. You're a co-signer on every single loan? Yeah. You really are selling to people without credit. Yeah. And bad credit. I try to help yeah, people out. Credit. Believe it or not, I try to help people out. I really well, do. no, you obviously make a buck or you wouldn't be doing this, yeah, but well, uh, I don't think you're doing it just, I mean, you serve in a soup a kitchen yeah. if you're just being no, a good guy. But the car, who rep repossesses the car from Dodge? We sent the tow truck to go get it and paid the bill. And why did Dodge release it to you? Like, who are you? You're just some car dealership. Why would Dodge release he it? He told to them that they were, we were coming to get it. Okay. He called us. So you pick it up and you do what with it? Well, we look at the truck to see what was wrong with it uh, because we told them we would fix it. We didn't have a problem fixing it. And what, what the problem was, was a vacuum popped off. When we put the manifold on, there's a vacuum line that went to it. And you can't see it because it's under everything. And it came off. And that's why it was stalling and hard starting. The vacuum hose came off it. So We fixed you do? it, and it was fine. We called him, told him to come and get the truck. He said he didn't want it. And they just wanted his money back. Yeah. All right. So then where's the truck right now? We resold it. You sold it? Yeah. So you actually sold it for how much? I believe it was five thousand. No, it something. wasn't. It was seven. Uh, I don't know. Which was a good deal for you. Pull out well, the paperwork. Well, it wasn't a good. I got my money back because I had to pay the tax and all that. There was expense on the truck. Well, we're going to talk about that because yeah. there's a procedure, right, for repossessions in uh, your state, like there is in every state. Yeah, the, you're the, supposed to send a notice out. You're supposed to have a public auction. Yeah, the, uh, you, you know, you 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 can't just resell the it. The loan company did that. Send them a notice and all that. Let me see it. I don't have it. I'm not the loan company. Yeah, but you're the guy defending. Yeah, but I'm not the, the loan company. I don't Honor. care. You're the guy getting sued for a return of the money. Quality if, Auto's getting sued, not the loan company. I don't have nothing to do with the loan company. Right, but you're getting sued mm -hmm. to return the money, and you're telling me you resold the thing. Mm -hmm. I need to see proof of that the law was followed. You can't just take the car, sell it, and say. You're out $2,000, and I made $7,000 on a resale. The loan company gave him an opportunity of 15 days. I need to see that, right. I need I'm to see not it. the loan company. Well, see, the thing is, the loan company does usually. I used to be a repo man. No, I know. Okay? So was I. Okay. 40 years. So Right. So the loan company should be repoing the car in a legal repo. You've yeah. got this Fugazi thing going on where you're a guarantor on all of them, yeah. and then you take the car, and then you sell it, but that doesn't absolve you of having to show me that everything was done Right. That's where the problem lies. Well, being so, a licensed dealer by the state of Connecticut, 
I'm supposed to do everything right, or I wouldn't right. have a dealer's license. That's right. So and just show me that you did it right, because you're supposed to do it right. The finance company wouldn't have a finance license if they didn't do it so right. So that's all you got to do is say, trust me, judge, but we're I'm not licensed, the finance and that's company, all I got to Your Honor. Pardon me? I'm not the finance company. You're the guy getting sued for a return for of the... Well, then you should have. Okay. Because you're supposed to be prepared when you come to court. Okay, I have a question. Is it more reliable to buy a used car from a private party or a dealer? I would say a dealer. Because? Because they're a dealer and a private buyer can do what they please. What's the advantage of buying from a uh, private party? Um, you might get a lower price. Might get a lower, yeah. lower price. What's the advantage of buying from a dealer? Uh, warranty and... You, can, you know what? I'm glad you said that. I'm going, to, I'm going to say something as soon as we come back from court. Going inside the courtroom. So you took a car that he owns, yeah. that you are a guarantor on, yeah. and went ahead and sold it. And then you're not going to give the guy his money back, even though you decided what to do with it. He never paid his loan. They repossessed it. Oh, show me that. I'm not the finance company. You want company. it both ways. No. You want to be the finance company and Your tell Honor. me how it got reboot Your and not be the finance Honor. company I'm and not, not have to show fine. it to me. So what's the money he put loans, down Your then? Honor. It's $2,000? Yeah, I'm ordering you to return the $2,000. 1800 Your piece he gave of paper us. says $2,000. No, if you look, it says he owes us $200. No, 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 no. I'll no. give it to you. No, Your no, Honor. no. It's right here, the evidence. You what did you wrote on two hundred dollars? You're gonna need to listen to the okay. judge when she asks a question. Okay. Why did you write a piece of paper that says deposit cash two thousand dollars if that, he didn't give? That's an invoice, Your Honor. Okay. What have you got to show that he paid less? Go ahead. Why do these two things contradict okay. each other? Like this has a date nope. of one fifteen. And then it says he owes 200 on 131. And then this is a, written in the middle of all that on 122. Because when he came to pick up the car, he didn't have all the money. And that paperwork was no, already I need to know. Out. I need to see paperwork for 131. Did you put down 1800 and owe 200 on no, 131? Yeah, 2000, that's what I gave. Okay, so now, see, he's that's contesting this. So now you've got it. You've got. Plate of everything. Okay, I don't want to hear about your yeah, license okay. plates. I want to yeah. know how much cash you yeah, gave them. 2000. Okay, so now, yeah. if you're telling me that he didn't give 2000, why do you guys author this contract that says sold, okay, that says 122, 2000, and then author a conflicting one? that was written on 115, that says on 131 he has to pay 200, but then this one that's you written after this one it, Honor, says he puts down two grand. I'll name. explain it to you. When he came in and purchased the car, that order there you have in your hand. Which one? I have two. The big one, one or the little one? one. The right, one. and this is January that's 15th. Oh, I'm going to no. interrupt you, so if that's insulting you, we no, got a problem. No, I just right. want to talk that over you, That one's dated you, Honor. January 15th. That's when he purchased the car. That's right. when he came in right. and gave us a deposit. Right. The other invoice in your other hand is when he came to pick up the car. Okay, why didn't you just write here, if he hadn't paid the 200 why didn't you just write here? Because we wrote it on the I main order. I didn't finish order. my question. Why didn't you just write here 1800 because we wrote it on the other order. But do you understand what you wrote he here? He signed that. Yeah, and he signed this too. No, he signed where okay, it says so he owed Okay, so this is just 200. from you. You know what? No, be more clear on your paperwork. Oh, you man. write a piece of paper that says, the guy gave me two grand, but you want me to believe, even your though this Honor, is written. You know what? At, stop talking. I'm not going to be out. clear. Get out, get out. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. You write a piece of paper that says January 15th, you still owe me to January 31st. Go ahead, you want to go too? You can go. No problem. You, oh, you, he writes a piece of paper that says on January 15th, you owe me 200 more dollars, which is probably correct. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Then he writes another piece of paper a week later that says you paid me $2,000. This piece of paper should say you still owe me $200 if you hadn't paid the $200. Now, look me in the eye. Yes. Did you pay a full 2,000 or did you pay 1,800? Two. Don't you lie to me. I don't lie. I don't lie, fool. $2,000. Then he's giving you back that $2,000. Now, you are also suing for the insurance that you put on the car, but why didn't you just cancel the insurance? You should have gotten that money back from the insurance. They, they made me get the insurance just to get the Now, that's on. not my question. Okay, yeah. If I no longer I have cancel. a car, I no longer pay insurance. What yeah, happened? I, can't, I canceled it. That's oh, then why money. are you suing for it? If you canceled it, then they I gave you the refund. For 
They didn't give me no money. Well, if you canceled the insurance, they refund the money. No, they didn't give me no money. Then back. take it up with your insurance company. That's not something he has to pay. Okay. You did make three weekly payments of $75. Yes. Yes, you I get did. that back. The mechanic repairs, you proved to I me, got right? That. I Where's got that? that? Do I have it? Yep, handle it here. You get that. And what's the license plate? Um, license plate, they made me get a, um, change my plate because- May I see proof of the $100 you're-, you're it's, yeah. in, it's all in the bill when they gave if me it. it. If That's it's, what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. It's all in the bill. Well, but you I didn't pay it. You bill. only paid $2,000. If you get all that back, then, then you're getting that back. This is all taken care of by returning your $2,000 and returning your monthly payments. So I take it you do not have a separate bill for $100, correct? No. No. Okay. All right. So I am ordering them to return to you $2,425, verdict for the plaintiff. So the plaintiff gets back $2,400 from the defendant who angrily stormed out of the courtroom. He's going to find out. He's going to be upset when he hears what happened. <laughs> yes. How do you feel about what happened today? Well, I didn't get all my money back, but... Um, well, you are. You're being made whole again. But still, You're getting... still a lot more money involved in it. So like I didn't what? receive it. I, like I said, I paid out. And she's saying that... You I get $2,400 back. Yes. You should be happy. Well, I'm still a little happy, but not all the way okay. happy. But, you know... Straighten him out, okay? Yeah. Yes. He's going to help straighten you out. Yes. And cancel your insurance. Yes, I will do that. Good for you. All Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Harvey? <laughs> you know, it's so interesting, Doug. I mean, she, this, this lady mentioned um, a warranty and said that that's the advantage with a dealer. The reality is you can even get a warranty from a private party, even if they say, I'm not giving warranties, say, I'm not going to buy the car unless you give me one. You can negotiate that.